Okay, we're testing our lunar refueler. Hmm, perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's east. It's actually a little bit... If that's east, then that's south, so I need to go just like this. That's the flag. There we are. So now all we have to do is get this guy to connect up. And extend it. Ooh, and then lower it. Oop, that's raising it. That's lowering it. Wah! I'm not sure what just happened there. This looks pretty dangerous, but that's okay. I laugh in the face of danger. Also, I'm pretty used to these things exploding randomly, so whatever. Alright, and I don't think this one... Nope, that's fine. So now we can detach. Switch and move our arm. Yes. That is precisely what I thought would happen. What did you think would happen? When's the last time I saved? Oh. Oh, I have to do this precision flying again? Uh, all right. It's not going to be as impressive the second time. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and lower. Oh, save. All right. There we go. I can fly! Oh, that's not a great sign now, is it? Oh, I let's spin. <laughs> it looks like the amount of force required to wrench off the cupola is basically zero. Wow, this is getting worse rather than better. Now here's a fun part. You see how I lower this? My hand is on lower. It's spin all of a sudden. And that may be what's going on here. It may be that it goes from lower to spin. Alright, I turned off SAS because I think that's going to help. If this is the primary source of SAS, it's going to be torquing, and then this guy is going to end up uh, self-destructing, so... Can I turn this off rather than disconnecting it? Disable cross-feed control from here, undock... Guess not. Okay, so it's a lever, lever. And they're gonna rearrange once I hit undock. Lever, lever. All right, so it was the SAS that was... I was wrong. What the hell is going on? 
Oh, it crashed. All right, I'm considering that a lost cause. Thank you for your time.